T. I'm back. I know I've been away for a minute, but I had to take care of some things. So, um, first of all, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you for watching my vids and comments, and I see everything. So, I just want to say thank you, and I really appreciate it. So, I hope you enjoy my vids. So, today is a video that is so long overdue. It's of my natural hair products. I've been getting so many messages, comments about the products that I'm using or I have used and why I'm not using a certain product or how I use a product. So I'm just going to show you most of the products that are in my cabinet. Um, some of them I don't even use anymore. So I will talk a little bit about each product. If I've done a review on it, I'm not. So I'll just put the description, um, the, the links in the description box below. So the first thing I want to start off with are shampoos. I do love shampoos. Um, I know a lot of naturals don't use shampoos or I mean they just co-wash. I tried co-washing when I first went natural and it was a hot mess. My hair was so sticky and you know, it doesn't work out for me. So I like clean hair and shampoos that I'm using now are the Shea Moisture shampoos. This is the Moisture Retention and the African Black Soap. I'm no longer using the Curl Shampoo. These work way better than the Curl Shampoo. But um, deep cleansing takes care of all of my dandruff problems, does not strip my hair. Same here, makes my hair feel soft. It's actually almost like a conditioner when I use it. Love, and I always keep a uh, sulfate shampoo. This is mane and tail. So it doesn't strip my hair, it gets my hair extra clean. So if I run out, I will have this. I don't mind using shampoo with sulfate. If it doesn't strip my hair and make it extra dry, I don't mind. Next are my conditioners. So I do still have my conditioner curls. I did a review on this. Um, since my hair is longer, it doesn't really detangle well how I like. It doesn't really have that much slip. So I'll just use this for like a midweek rinse whenever my hair is dry. So I am in love with the Herbal Essence. I love this one better. But lots of lots and lots of slip it keeps my hair extra moisturized i mean even better than some of the natural shampoos that i've used like natural organic shampoos i've used love this i've tried this is the conditioner shea moisture um it's a leave-in or you can do it as a rinse out conditioner do not like it makes my hair dry dull it makes it soft but it's so dry and dull. I've tried it as a leave-in conditioner under products, build up, dull, lifeless, uh, rinse out conditioner. It doesn't really have slip, but I'll use it up. So that's that. Leave-in conditioners. Still using this. Direct leave-in Giovanni. Love, and I like to mix this with castor oil in it. This is the uh, Kinky Curly, the Not Today. This is what I use when I uh, mix my Kim A2 mix. And right now I'm not using the Kim A2 mix because I'm pretty much out of product, as you can see. Um, and I made a vow to myself and said I wasn't going to buy any more natural, any more products. So I went four months without buying. <laughs> without buying any products and I'm so proud of myself because I was beginning to be a junkie so um this is what I'm using and it has castor oil and jojoba oil in it so and the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In now I bought this when I was transitioning it worked you know fine for transitioning but when I cut my hair and went fully natural it didn't work how I thought it would work. It was, um, I had build up in my hair a little white, you know, little balls of product. It does not mix well with other products. I mean, I began to hate this product and I almost threw it away um, a couple of months ago, but I, I tried it because I needed, <laughs> I needed to do a quick twist out and I didn't want to use my good product. So I went ahead and used it and I used this and oil and it turned out amazing. So this and oil and that's it great twist out and it keeps it soft shiny plump twist so I love it I will I will buy it again but you just can't mix this with with other products you have to 
just let it do its thing. So I like this. Okay, next are my spritzers. And this is the Lavish Curls. Now, my friend and I did a product swap. She didn't like it. Um, but for me, it works wonders. It's it's really thick. You can actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's so thick. So I spray this on my hair right when I, um, after I detangle it, I spray this in my hair and it leaves it very soft. Um, I really love this. This will be something I'll get again. I think she got this from Target. So, love. This is the, the Shea Moisture Hibiscus Hold and Shine. No go. Um, do not like. Made my hair sticky. No shine, no, no hold, no nothing. I mean, my, my mix is way better than this. So, do not like. Will not buy again. So, of course, I have my, my water bottle. And this here, I usually mix this one with just water and oils, but I did, I mixed this with some of this, like half of this, half of water, just to dilute it. So when I want to re refresh my hair at night before I uh, twist it up, I'll spray a little bit of this on my ends. Okay, so let's move on to oils. Castor oil. Love. I use this as a pre-poo and sometimes as a um just like on my edges or like on my scalp or whatever but mostly pre-poo right before i shampoo i use this jojoba oil love tea tree use tea tree uh, and this is the black jamaican castor oil which i do not like the scent so i probably i won't i won't buy this again but i do pre-poo with this only pre-poo with this just because i don't like the scent and I still have my Lisa's Hair Elixir Hot Oil Treatments. Did a review on this. And let's see what is next. Are my Butters Stylers Gels.